Going Dutch, Kentucky and Ohio coming together with a solution to replace the Brent Spence Bridge. They're splitting the cost, but it also means tolls are coming. You knew this was going to happen. And that's been, of course, the big question for years. The governors of Ohio and Kentucky are saying yes, while a citizens group continues to say no. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live to help frame the debate on moving this construction project forward. Tom? Well, Kara, all of us have driven across the Brent Spence Bridge, and while it's safe, many of us know it's very dangerous as well. After all, it was designed for 80,000 vehicles a day, now handles twice that amount. Well, basically, replacement talks have lingered for 10 years now, but a new plan announced just a few hours ago here in Covington makes it clear that some local drivers are going to have to come up with some cash for crossing, and not everybody's happy about it. More than a dozen people stood outside River Center in Covington Wednesday, holding signs that made it clear they don't want citizens to pay for crossing the Brent Spence Bridge. No tolls because we're already paying a federal gasoline tax and a state gasoline tax, and it's the federal government's responsibility for this national highway. Inside at the Metropolitan Club, Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir and Ohio Governor John Kasich both scoffed at the notion that the federal government will swoop in and pick up the bridge cost. And both Governor Kasich and I are here to tell you that if that happens, if they come with some significant dollars, we will be thrilled. And I will start putting a nickel under my pillow waiting for the tooth fairy <laughs> next morning, so you all know. The governor's new four-point plan includes cost-cutting, cost-sharing, a common-sense financial plan, and discounted frequent user tolls. Kevin Gordon of Northern Kentucky United calls the discount a teaser rate. I equate that to the uh, credit card offers you get for 0% for the first six months. The governors say 10 years of political rhetoric on a replacement have to give way to common sense and reality. The longer we delay, the worse, thing, the worse that things are going to get. Traffic is going to grow more congested, not less. Driving will grow more dangerous, not less. Any delays in beginning construction are estimated to add $7 million to the overall cost every month. It's going to get done, folks. Every time I come down here, I got a, one of these reporters say, oh, you know, when's it going to get done? It'll get done. It will get done. It's a matter of when, not if. Now, the key going forward in Kentucky is the General Assembly approving a new bill allowing the tolling. Governor Kasich urged everyone to lobby the legislature for what, as he put it, get their heads out of the sand. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Covington. Thank you, Tom. And as Tom mentioned, the Brent Spence Bridge is not considered by the experts unsafe. It is considered, quote, functionally obsolete. And that means it's not built to current standards and is not built for the amount of traffic that goes over it. However, the Roebling Bridge is a little different. Parts of it are considered functionally obsolete, like the Brent Spence, but there's also a segment of that bridge that is structurally deficient, which means it has some structural damage and is eligible to be either renovated or replaced. Our coverage of the Brent Spence plan continues on WCPO.com. You can see a full outline of the proposal as well as information on tolls, and you can hear from more who oppose the plan. It's right on the homepage of WCPO.com.